Good morning, everyone. This is Royce Moore. Coming back at you with yet another one of my mom's recipes. Except this is also kind of one of my recipes because today on the docket, we're having ba -ba -da -ba, chicken salad sandwich and uh, sesame blistered asparagus. Sesame oil, bl or asparagus blistered in sesame oil. Yes, indeed. Um, so. My mom and I have kind of worked out a factor deal because I'm trying to do more meal prep and my mom is, well, she's, you know, she's bored or, you know, she, she's bored and likes doing stuff. So I, so I buy ingredients and she makes food. Let's, and let's dig in. Asparagus is a weird vegetable. It can be one of the best or worst depending on how you cook it. As I said, I usually like my asparagus blistered, which is a bit crispier than this, but this is good too. Mom tried something different. She tried stir frying it with a little oyster sauce and soy sauce, and it turned out pretty decent. As for the chicken salad sandwich, my grandma actually made the chicken salad using white grapes and pecans. And I got, and I, uh, added my own twist to it. I don't know if you can see here, but I oven roasted some tomatoes, got some pickled red onions, and got some Swiss from Walmart. And combined those into it to make this gorgeous dagwood you see before you. My brother says it's not a dagwood because it's lacking ingredients, but I don't know, it's pretty big to me. Now, I even got the fancy Walmart, the, 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 the Italian bread, to put it in. Um, let's try to mm. It all works very well together. Oven roasted tomatoes and and uh, pickled onions, both very sweet. Um, a little acidity works really well with a very rich, creamy chicken salad. You have sweet notes from the grapes and the onion. Mm. Have little pecans. It's a marvelous sandwich. I made enough where I can take a sandwich with me to work every night. Um, well, my mom sent, home, sent me home with enough where I make a sandwich every night. Or, Cause she, she and grandma made that for themselves and gave me a big case of it because I made way too much. <laughs> the asparagus is what I actually had paid for her to make. I should probably give her a, should probably pay her too, but. I'd actually got these to go with, or I'd actually asked for these to, because I had also got her the ingredients to make egg rolls with. Because my grandma used to make really good egg rolls, but I just, but now can only make uh, pork or hamburger egg rolls because uh, my little cousin is allergic to shellfish. And I really, but I really liked her shrimp egg rolls. So I got the ingredients for shrimp egg rolls and, and mom made them. Yeah. And I know what you're all saying. Well, Royce, why don't you just make this stuff yourself? You have to remember, I was working. I, and I still might be working. I, I don't know. Um, uh, six day weeks. With the odd seven day week thrown in. Knock on wood, 
I hope my, I hope my new trainee is going to turn out okay and she's going to be a good hire. She's a little older, but I don't, I don't mind the age. I just care she can do her job. Um, also, I'm pretty sure my shuttle driver is being uh, actively scammed by someone who keeps telling him to send him money. And I keep telling him to break off contact with this person, but look, he's a shuttle driver for a hotel in Iowa. He's not the brightest bulb. Um, if you're wondering where the shrimp egg rolls are, well, they were really good. are actually too greasy to take to work. But the other things I got more than make up for it because I also got uh, the chicken salad and the, um, oh, what is it called? I got the ingredients from my mom, for my mom to make her beef stroganoff and she makes a really good beef stroganoff, guys. You don't even know. I was using a real plate and fork because y'all get mad at me when I use disposable. And Clark is here. Um, I hope he doesn't ask for a bite because Tomatoes are bad for dogs, as are grapes. <clears throat> Honestly, this may be the best chicken salad sandwich I've ever had. Which makes me a little proud that I'm the one who made it. I'm the one who made half of it. I'm the one who can assembled it. Let's put it like that. A true feat of engineering. A combination of the skills of me and my mother, or and my grandmother. And I hope you all are at least a little happy that I'm eating, that I'm eating at least a little healthier. <clears throat> more vegetables, more, or, you know, less processed foods. I mean, I call the sandwich artisanal. Even if it was mostly made with ingredients from Walmart. <clears throat> and a mix of and a mixture of canned and boiled chicken. If I did this again. I would probably just buy the pre-made uh, 
the pre-made rotisserie chi rotisserie chicken um, uh, chicken salad at Walmart. Assuming that no one had any on hand for me. As much as I like chicken salad, I don't like making it. I made it once on camera and it was awful. That's one thing where it's like, it's better if I pay someone else to do it than make it myself. I said the assemblage apparently I'm really good at. Like all I did was think, what goes, what goes good with um, chicken salad? And apparently, my instincts are right on the money. Pickled onions, roasted tomatoes. The pickled onions are actually a lot sweeter than I thought they'd be. For some reason, I thought they'd be spicy. I was going to record making the sandwiches yesterday, but... My brother and cousin were both up, and I'm not allowed to film around them. My brother does not want his face his, uh, to be seen by you. Honestly, it's awful enough you're seeing my face. If I could wear a mask, if I could disguise myself, I would. Do you really think I want to, I want y'all to see this disgusting visage? The funny thing is, I actually did what exactly what um, Rodney Dangerfield did in Back to School when he made his appetizer sandwich. <sighs> I dug out the top of the bread and fed it to Clark because he was begging for scraps. Isn't that right, boy? Um, yeah, honestly, like, I can do meal prep, and I really should do it more. I, I don't know why I don't. Actually, I do know why I don't. Broken brain. I'm a, to, to paraphrase my, or well, to, to quote my brother, undiagnosed superpower. My brother likes joking that we're all, that, well, he at least has, he jokes that he at least has undiagnosed ADHD, autism, something along those lines. And I, you know, I don't want to be a self-diagnoser, but I wouldn't surprise me if I had that as well. <laughs> um, it's weird. You can walk into the doctors, tell them that you're depressed, and they immediately give you a, a prescription for antidepressants. But God forbid you try to get diagnosed with a, with a disorder that would require them to give you, you know, medicine that would actually improve your... Uh, work output. I don't know. It's so hard to get diagnosed with ADHD or any, any of that stuff. Or, like, at least find out if I have it or not as an adult. Like, I would be fine finding it if a doctor told me, like, no, you don't have it. It's just I would like to hear it from a doctor. You know what I mean? Anyway. That's going to be it for me today. Um, I do have a couple videos planned. The, those were not... Uh, I did find some seasonal items at Walmart. Uh, that I might review before Halloween next week. And like I said, I really do want to do that, uh, 
I really do want to do the let's try of the Chilean sea bass while dressed as John Hammond. But we'll see where... We'll see where it takes me. That may have to be a birthday thing, because... They're talking about pushing my time... I, I had actually requested a week off using my, my PTO. A personal week for me to clean up my room and actually get... I still have seven boxes. You know, I have never taken a personal day. Um, in... Uh, in ever since I started working hospitality, uh, like any time, any time off I've taken has been for has been to go visit family. But this, I'm finally doing something for me. I'm taking time off. I'm going to fix up and organize my room, and I'm going to actually, you know, be on top of things. Hopefully. Fingers crossed, knock on wood. Anyway, I hope you all go to the story spot. I'm out of here.